He couldn't believe his eyes. The fluffy white thing that was just there had gone. It was not there. All that was there was no fluffy white thing. He wondered where was it. He was now more puzzled than ever. He was still wondering where he was. Was the fluffy white thing to his left? To his left? He could not locate it, but suddenly the fluffy white thing was right behind him. It was giving him the evil look, and then by magic it appeared right in front of him. Captain Quark didn't know what hit him, and now the fluffy white thing was turning his head slightly to look at him. And he finally realised, Captain Quark, that this fluffy white thing had a magical powers vanishing and appearing in different places how in the hell was he going to defeat this fluffy white thing he had never been this close to the fluffy white thing in his entire life well the last five minutes or four minutes he was right near his bum so he had to step back he had no weapons he started to step back to get a good distance away from the fluffy white thing and he managed to do it with ease. But the fluffy white thing was looking at him, saying, I'll get you next time. And Captain Quark had to do something now. He had to return to the above. He had to get back up there to safer ground or safer heights. So how in a blue hell, that doesn't make sense, was he going to do this? Suddenly, a shadow appeared over his head. He did not know what was happening, but suddenly, a hand grabbed him. Well, slightly. Was this the end of Captain Quark yet again? He escaped the clutches of the fluffy white thing, and now, the hand was grabbing him, and he didn't know what to do. Meanwhile, the fluffy white thing was doing something random, very, very random, looking at the floor, and looking over there. So, Captain Quark was in danger. The hand appeared to take him much higher up, and the hand decided to put him down where he originally was. This, this, this puzzled him very, very much. He had no idea why he was back to his original place, but he was pleased about it. Very, very pleased. Look at that grin. Then, he, he looked to his left. There was something there. It was the hand, giving him a thumbs up. And Captain Quark realised something. This hand was friendly, friendly. He was very, very chuffed about this, so guess what happens? They shake hands very, very much. Well, Captain Quark still didn't know where he was, but he made a friend, the help of a hand. See you next time, guys, for more adventures of this.